Many of you know the Cadence team, but most of you probably don't know that they also have an awesome WooCommerce plugin called Woo Extras. And in this video, I'm going to give you a brief overview. What is it and what can it do for you? So here it is, the Cadence Woo Extras plugin. It allows you to show the product colors in a different way. It then enables or disables the product image zoom. Also, you can add the cart notices on it. You can show the variation swatches. So instead of regular drop downs, you, you can show the swatches as you see here. You can add advanced reviews on your site. You can add size charts and you can control the variation price. Nifty feature is, a, is the one which adds a category extra description. You can change that to cart text based on the products and you can enable or disable the checkout fields. Also you can add custom fields over there. And within the same plugin you can also add the product brands here. It has a responsive design, you can translate it and what is especially great about it, it has a modular approach which means you can enable or disable only those modules you want to use. It's optimized for speed and it works with any team. This one I'm going to test today because I'm not going to use the Cadence team, I'm going to use the Astra team to test it out. Now you ask how much does it cost? It costs $75 per year, but if you purchase a Cadence membership by clicking here, then it's included with the team and all other plugins Cadence has. Now if you're interested and think that the plugin will benefit you, then take a look at the description of this video, the link to the plugin is over there. So let's take a look at the plugin itself. I'm going to install it now. Upload and activate it. It asks me to activate it. You can activate it here by entering your license key and email. And after that, you can customize it. Now, as you see, we have a couple of extra menus here. One is size charts. We're going to take a look at it later. And the other one is Woo Extra. So I'm going to open that one up. Here are all the modules. Everyone has an on off button here, so if I'm not going to use the variation swatches, I'm going to deactivate it. The same goes with all the other modules. Now let's take a look at the variation swatches. It's enabled here, and here we can choose what is the default swatch type. By default it's drop down, but we can select it whether it's radio box, image or color swatches, or taxonomy defined. Taxonomy defined means that if you go to the products and attributes I have color here with terms then what I have set up here for example image or color this will be shown on the front end so I'm gonna leave it to the taxonomy defined because I can overwrite it on a single product page I'm gonna choose a label on hover and save changes I have a personalized mug and it's a variable product with blue, green and yellow variations and if I take a look at it then it lo looks like this blue, green, yellow and I can override it by clicking on variation swatches here open up color it's default but I can set it to radio box update it refresh it and now it's radio box. If I choose a color and image swatches here, I can set different images for the swatches here also. As you saw, we had default images for variations, but here I can override them, update it. And if I view the product, then those are the, the images I added now. So these were the variation swatches. Let's go back the Woo Extras and open up the product gallery here. You can set it up the gallery type whether the thumbnails are shown below on the left or on the right. Product image width, product image ratio, how many thumbnails are shown and so on. So I'm gonna set it, the gallery to the left, save it 
here are the images and here is a slider or scroller how do you want to call it let's change it to the right and refresh it it works and below and now the images are below here let's set the thumbnails count to eight and now there are eight thumbnails here at the moment there is no image zoom but we can enable this one also we can change whether the slide arrows on product's image are shown and whether the overlay has a caption i'm gonna leave it to false and we can set the slider to autoplay i'm gonna change it to three seconds save it and let's see what happened one two three four so the slider works and zoom works also now there is one more option for the product galleries we can replace the gallery with a short code for example i have a full gallery plugin installed here i have four products here i can set the thumbnail size for example 300 to 300 customize the appearance a bit update it grab the short code paste it here update the product and now if i open it up then this is a gallery since i set it to 300 pixels then it does not look good but and 200 and update it refresh it then it looks like this okay next one cart notices we're going to activate it save it and under the woocommerce there is a cart notices menu let's click on it add new cart notice let's give it the title and this drop down allows you to set up the conditions when the notification is shown for example show this notification only if a certain product is in a cart for example if the personalized mug is in a cart then we can show the notification buy one get one text for the cart notice button button type I'm going to leave it to add to a product cart and change the text, seal the deal and set the, expir and set the expiration date. And down below you can customize, uh, change the colors, for example, background blue, border color, I'm going to leave it to the same or even disable the border, message color, white and so on. I'm going to update it refresh it it's there one more thing i forgot to do i'm going to select the product or i can change the rules for example so show when a certain category is in cart for example mugs and now add a product to cart for example father's day coffee mug i'm going to update it refresh it since we have a personalized mug from the category already added here clicking seal the deal added one more product here now as you see it's a really powerful module for those who want to upsell products or add some kind of cart notices now let's go to the size charts it's activated nothing to configure here but size charts are here so we're going to add one we can use a Gatenberg to do that. I'm gonna just paste some random text here, but you can add whatever you want to do with it. And under the size chart settings, the location of the chart, I'm gonna add it after product meta. Here we can select the colors and so on. Modal button text, close button text. And now we can select the categories where the size chart is shown. I'm going to choose mugs and publish it. Now I'm going to open up one of the mug products here. Here is a button. If we click it, it opens up with a text like this one here. So as you see, you can add whatever you want here. Let's go back and open up next one, which is, which is variation options. Currently the variation price output is shown from lowest to highest. That means if we have a 
variable products here, this one here is the lowest to highest. We can change it to show lowest price only and set the prefix, for example, price starts from. Refresh and there it is. Or we can set it to, I'm going to add the base price here, refresh it. And now it shows like this. Next one, add to cart text. We can change a simple product text, for example, buy now, variable product text, select and buy, and so on. And these are for archives. If we want to change a single add to cart text, then we can set it up here, buy now, for example, save it, refresh it, and there it is. Unfortunately, we cannot do that for every single product by themselves, but they are global settings here. Next feature is an extra category description. It's activated if I go to the categories and open up the mugs. Then this one here is an extra category description box. I'm going to paste some text here, update it. This is the original mugs category page. And if I scroll it down, here is uh, extra text here. Next one is advanced reviews. Since I don't have any reviews on my site, I cannot demonstrate it. But if you activate it, then here are the options. You can enable review titles, consent text box, translations. You can enable the review voting whether the voters must be logged in or not, show the review overview, overview highlight colors. You can enable the featured reviews and load more reviews. And if you have already some reviews, you can convert them here. At the moment, I'm going to deactivate it and open up the checkout editor, which is on, and you can find it here, checkout manager. You can easily rearrange the field position. If you want to deactivate some fields, for example, billing address 2 or country, just select them and set to disable and save changes. You can do the same with the shipping fields and comment fields. If you want to add some other fields, just press on add field. Select the field type, for example, text area. Give it a name, for example, my field. I'm going to give it a random label, for example, my field. You can write whatever you want over there. Please enter your father's name, for example, as a placeholder. Here you can set whether it is required and display in emails or order details page. I'm going to add it, save it. Now let's see how does it look like on a checkout page. And as you see, here is my custom field. Now let's go to the affiliate product options. Activate it and here are some options for you. Whether you want to enable the affiliate link for the product images on or off, whether it opens up on new pro the browser tab, whether it enables a link for product images, and whether it opens up on new browser tab. Now let's make this product as an affiliate. You can add your own product URL here, button texts, and so on. So this one goes with these settings here. Now product brands, if we activate it, I'll give it a name, for example, brand, brands. Here we can choose the output location, for example, below meta content. Show it as a text or image. I'm going to show it as text. But you can set it to image if you use logos or something like that. Enable hard crop images and link image to the brand page on and off. I'm going to activate those. If you want to show them on archive pages, then you can set it up here. I'm not going to show them on archive pages. 
Save it. Refresh it. And now we have brands here below the product. For example, Adidas. Open it up, select the image, some kind of logo. There it is. Update it. And you open one product up. Then here is a brand. I'm going to select it, update it, view the product. And here is a brand Adidas, which links to the brand archive page. Now let's take a look at the checkout coupon model here. Let's open it up. The coupon model link placement, order review and payment, before order review or after payment. I'm going to set it to before order review. Here are the text I can change. Save it and let's see how does it look like on the front page. Go to checkout. Click here to enter your code and Inside this model, I can enter the coupon. And last one, global tabs. If we activate it, it says we can find global tabs under the products menu in your admin. I'm going to save it, refresh it, products and product tabs. Let's add the product tab here. For example, inquiry form. Let's see whether the WP form works here. Display type add to products on specific category. For example, we're going to show them only with the marks. Publish. And now let's take a look at the products. Open up a mug. We have an inquiry form here and there it is. With a couple of clicks, we added a custom tab, which will show up only with a marks category. Let's see how did it work. Open up the t-shirt and there is no product tab like this. We can show it with every product or only to specific products. For example, personalized mug. No other product will see this tab. Let's refresh this one. It doesn't show up. But if we open up the personalized mug, there it is. So these were the main features the Cadence WooCommerce plugin has at the moment. As you see, a really powerful tool, basically the Swiss knife for the WooCommerce. You can activate or deactivate the modules as you, as you want. For example, if I don't use affiliate products, I'm going to leave it off. I'm not using the size charts. I'm going to leave it off. Also, cart notices off. If I change it and refresh it, then there is nothing here. Now, if you think the plugin is worth to take a closer look, then take a look at the description of this video. The link to the plugin is over there. Now, before you go, take a look at the next video you see on the screen right now, because it's also full of useful content. And if you find this video helpful and if you want to support the channel, then Press thumbs up and subscribe to this channel and this way you will be the first to be notified about new tutorials. Meanwhile, take care.